Good morning, my fellow ARC players. This is Tyler Creek Rock back for another exciting day here on the ARC Survival Evolve, the Lost Island map. This is day number 220 of our little adventure here, and well, we've went a little overboard here with our egg thing. We have got a few more bunny dodos in our taming pen here now. We've been collecting these eggs for quite a while. We tended to quit after our last episode where we cracked a thousand eggs, but we only got a couple of the new event chibis, so we decided to continue on with this. And I am too heavy to get out the top of this thing. Well, I can't even move now. I've got so much stuff on me. These eggs are extremely heavy. And you can't pick up very many of them or you can't move, so we've got over a hundred on us. Gonna have to use the door. We have been storing eggs for quite a few days now. I think the last day we recorded was day 216 and this is day 220, so we've been collecting eggs for four days here. Trying to get a certain amount. Because we're going to do a big mass egg hatching here at some some point. We're not going to do that today. But we're going to do a mass egg hatching at some point. Maybe a few videos down the road. Because we were trying to get all the event chibis and we only actually only got two of the event chibis. There's five new event chibis for the Easter event, the Excellent Adventure 7. And we only got the Dilophosaur and the giant queen bee there's actually there's actually five of them there is a besides the two i got there's the dilophosaur and the queen bee are the two that i've got there's also a perlovia a micro raptor and a spring shine horn which is basically just a shine horn with the with easter event ears on it We've got 262 eggs here, so we're going to collect eggs for a little while longer. We want a thousand eggs in that chest. Shouldn't take me too long to get them at this rate. I did add a whole bunch of extra bunny dodos to my pen, so we're getting a lot higher rate of eggs now than we were. It only takes me a few minutes to get full of eggs. I have to dump them off in a chest. We've got some other stuff to do today, but I'm going to try to collect up a thousand eggs in this chest before we start doing them. Like I said, it shouldn't take but a few minutes at this rate. If I can just get around the bunny dodos, that's the problem. When you get this many in here, it's hard to get around them. If I didn't have the cinema crop, it would be a real problem. But the cinema crops helps out a whole lot on that, so we can get in and out pretty easily. We can get messed up in the middle of a bunch of them. What I haven't showed anybody yet is these two chests right here, they are both plumb full of eggs. So we're going to do a mass egg cracking video eventually. It's going to be a crazy number. Instead of like what we done yesterday, we cracked a thousand eggs yesterday. It took the whole episode to crack them, basically. It took about 30 minutes to crack a thousand eggs. We're going to be cracking 10,000 eggs pretty soon. We're probably not going to do it for a while because it's going to take several days to do it. But once we do it, I think we will probably get all the event chibis. We still need about 592 more to have 10,000 eggs. Guess I might as well show everybody now. These chests have 45 slots in them. There's 45 stacks of 100 eggs in each one of these two chests here. 
So that is basically that is 4,500 eggs in each chest. So that's 9,000 eggs in those two end chests. And then we're going to put 1,000 in this chest. That will give us 10,000 eggs to crack at some point. We should have a really good assortment of chibis after we crack all those. I am getting pretty sick of this egg collecting, so I'll be glad when I get this done. I did think of something else to do while I was out here. Seeing how I've collected up a whole lot of Ascended Dino candies, you can see I've got quite a bit of Ascended Dino candy now. I was just thinking. How would an Ascended Dino Candy work on a cinema crop? I haven't actually put one on it yet, but I've got a, an Ascended Dino Candy in his inventory. I wonder if it'll make him glide faster when you're using him to fly with, or if it just doesn't make any difference at all. It may not make any difference at all since it's really just gliding. It ain't flying or nothing. But after I get these eggs collected up, we'll give that a try. We'll put that Ascended Dino Candy on the cinema crops and see if it makes them glide any faster. I'm kind of thinking it might not. It's going to be hard for me to tell anyway. I figured I'd fly around on him a little bit without the dino candy and then try a little bit with it and see if I could tell the difference. But we've basically just been throwing all their other dino candy on the ground because we just had tons and tons of all the other all the primitives and the in the Mastercraft, we just had so much of it, we just can't store it. And as you can see, my inventory is basically full of chibis, and my my wyvern over here, he is plumb slot capped with chibis, so I can't really put nothing else in his inventory. He does have a level up, though. I guess I'm going to give him health until he gets up to 10,000 health. I've done got his stamina up to 1,500. This is my... my baby lightning wyvern that I've raised up. But we want to get this done pretty quickly if we possibly can here. I can pick up any. Get on to doing some other stuff. Test out that ascended dino candy on the on the cinema crop. See if it actually improves its flying speed or its gliding speed, which is basically what it is gliding. And like usual on stuff, I got carried away with this egg collect and I kind of overdid it a little bit. I know a thousand is quite a large sample of eggs to crack, but ten thousand is just going to be ridiculous. I still need about 400 more though. And I'm going to get them today because I think if I leave this area for long, these but dodo bunnies will despawn. And it took me quite a while to gather this. Well, not a long time, but it took me a while to gather this many up. And if I leave and come back and ain't got the amount of eggs that I want, I'll just have to go hunt more dodo bunnies, and it'll take a lot of extra time, so we don't want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and try to get what eggs we need today, just in case they do despawn. bad you can't tame them and still get them to lay eggs later on, but that's something you can't do, I don't reckon. There is a 150 in here somewhere. There's a bunch of 140s too, so there's some high-level dodo bunnies in here. about 40 or 50 eggs about every time I go in the pen at least 30 something so we're already up to 670 so we just need 330 more eggs to have 10,000 I don't really know what I'm gonna do with all these chibis though once I do crack the eggs I'm gonna have to put up a bunch of vaults or something or just toss down all the ones I don't want I guess I could just toss down all the common ones and put all the rares in a chest or something. 
And all the dodo bunnies usually lay their eggs all exactly at the same time, just like that. So when you get a drop, however many dodos you got, that's how many eggs you get. I think I've got about 20. I can't hardly count them in the pen because they're just too crowded together. But I, I had 12, and then I went and got a bunch more. So I can make this egg collecting a little bit faster. And I can't take the eggs back to base with me because a single stack of these eggs weigh 400 pounds and I can't even carry a single stack on myself. And even if I brought my, my Wade Argentavis out here, which has about 3,500 carrying capacity, it could probably only carry about, about seven or eight stacks of eggs, so it couldn't carry them all either. I mean, it would take a ton of trips, so I'll just have to crack them out here and then take the chibis back to base once I get that done. But that'll be another episode Wait, quite a ways off because that'll be quite a, quite a thing to do. Cracking 10,000 eggs will probably take me, probably take me five or six in-game days to do it. Just gonna be ridiculous. I'll probably do the cracking off camera and just show the results during an episode. Because there's no way I'm going to do four or five episodes on cracking eggs. I've already done one cracking a thousand. Last episode I cracked a thousand. I showed everybody the results of a thousand eggs. I didn't get any of the red or yellow tiered chibis for a thousand eggs. I'm pretty sure I will get some of them though out of a about 10,000 that I'm going to crack. I know this is already getting pretty boring here, me doing this. I feel like I've got to do this before I can leave. I've got 824 eggs in here already, so we just need 276 more. Then we'll give it up. Get that 10,000 number took care of. We've actually probably already cracked a couple of thousand. I know we've cracked at least at least 1,200. As soon as we get these eggs we need, we'll put the dino candy on the on the cinema crops and see how well a cinema crops handles a ascended dino candy. I'm hoping it'll glide a lot faster is what I'm hoping for. 15% movement speed buff is what it's supposed to give. I don't know if gliding is considered movement though. Candy on the wyvern out there. We'll probably change that to ascend it eventually if we use him much more. I'm kind of thinking when we get back to base we'll probably switch back off to our ice wyvern because it has it's quite a bit better right now. Got a lot more melee. And I've got kind of used to the ice wyvern. I really like the lightning wyvern. That lightning beam seems to be really powerful on it. That's 845, so we just need 165 more eggs. I like this square pick up everything feature. I just wish it was a little bit wider. Wish it would go out further so you could get more of them. It only does a small radius, but it helps a lot anyway, though. If 
you had to pick up each one of these eggs individually, boy, that would really take a lot of time. You would never be able to do it. lots of other stuff I want to do the next few days too. We've done the thing where you clear all the wild dinos. The dino wipe is what they call it. We've done a dino wipe for the Easter event. So of course we want to get out and do some exploring and see what new creatures we've got spawned in. See if we got some Easter colored and high level dinos. Okay we are up to six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we've already got a thousand. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, we've already hit our number. I'm gonna get one more load here and then we're gonna quit this and do some flying around with the cinema crops with some dino candy. And like I said, we're not gonna crack these eggs today. That'll be another episode later down the road because it'll probably take days to do it. We should get some really cool chibis though. Hopefully, 10,000 eggs. We don't get some good ones. It's going to be sad. I am starving. I've got to get back to base, too. We have been out here for several days. I think that's the end of the egg gathering. We've got 10,084 eggs gathered up. I think that is correct. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eighty-four. Yeah, we've got ten thousand eighty-four eggs coming up. We got these two chests plumb full. Somebody wants to do the math and figure up how much all that weighs. That'll be something else. A hundred eggs is four hundred pounds. Okay, we're going to do this and use an orbital camera, I think, or third person, so I can actually see myself fly with the cinema crop. Okay, that's going to be hard to do like that. Let's try the third person one instead. Okay, here it is in third person. See how well this guy glides without the dino candy. I guess this big fluffy bunny costume ain't helping matters any. Okay. It's going to be really hard for me to tell if I've gotten faster or not. Let's see how long it takes to fly over from this thing over here back. And then we might do that with the dino candy and see if it helps anything. There looks like some more bunny, bunny dodos over here. Okay, yeah, there's a couple more of those guys. I think we're done looking for them, okay. Let's fly back over here real quick. And then we're going to throw that ascended dino candy on our cinema crops and see if it feels like we're flying faster or not. Okay. Well, there's a lot of eggs down there again. Okay, let's get on the ground here. And put on some dino candy. Okay, cinema crop. Okay, can I not get into your inventory in third person? I'm having trouble doing it, ain't I? Uh, where'd you go? How'd you get behind me? I need to access your inventory. I'm going to feed you a dino candy. See what color you turn. This is an ascended dino candy. Okay, it made you kind of orange and brown. Didn't improve your colors a whole lot, but I guess that's a little better. Put it back into third person here. 
I mean, let's see if this actually makes him fly faster. I feel like I'm going up faster already. So I'm thinking it might actually work. I don't know though, it's not real noticeable if there's a difference. Yeah, I can't really tell if it's actually better or not. Let's fly back around over here with it a little bit and then we're going to leave this area and take her wyvern over to the maywing pasture and see if they might be a, any chance we might get a super rex spawn in after we've done the dino wipe. Cinema cops are pretty great. Wow, I don't know how I've done that. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Come on, Cinema Crop, pull up. You're fixing to land me in the water. Yep, got me in the water. I needed a drink anyway, though, I guess. I can't resist. I'm going to go clean up these eggs one more time since there's already a bunch in here. And we're going to get out of here. I'm going to put him back into regular view because I don't really like the third person view much. I'm not good with it. This is a lot of eggs just to leave laying here. Do that 10,000 egg cracking, it's going to be something else. Call it 10,000 plus egg hatching, I guess, because we've got an extra hundred here now. And that's the last one. We're done with this egg collecting. We've collected way too many eggs. And I'm thinking whether I might should take that dino candy back to base, but I'm just going to leave it here for now. All that ascended dino candy we collected. Let's go fly over the Maywing pasture on the way back to base. See if we might get lucky enough for a new Super Rex to have spawned in on our map. So we should have all new spawns now since we've done that dino wipe during the Easter event. There's a bunch of new horses down there. And a Diplodocus. Wow, that blue and yellow one looks cool, but it's a low level. There's a 140. I did tame a bright red equus a few days back. I probably might be looking for a mate for it eventually. Right here is one of the spots where I've had the super rex spawn at. Actually, right here on this very spot, right here is where I've had a super rex spawn. And then there's another spot over here. Be cool if we got a Easter colored super rex to spawn in. There's a pink horse. Stuff it's spawning in now should be all new. Right over here's the other spot where the Super Rex is spawned. For me, I'm sure there's other spots. Thing about them is, though, you have to get kind of close to them before you can see them. The one that spawned over here was over probably about right here where I found it at. So my level 485 was right here, and that other one was a 3, 365 came out of that other spot. Let's grab this supply drop if I can carry it. I may not be able to carry a supply drop. We've got to get back to base. We've been gone from base for a long time. Our food troughs may be completely, completely wiped out. It's been so long since we've been over there and our dinos may be starving out. And I think we've got a bunch of super T-Rexes in our incubator too that we didn't never hatch. So we're going to get back to base. Like I said, we started the Easter event on day 114, and we've been over there ever since. So that's, I think it's like six or seven in-game days we've been over here at the, that dodo bunny pen. 
collecting dodo bunny eggs. We should have a bunch of new maywings and stuff spawn in now. And we are looking for some more megatheriums. Would be nice to find a 150 megatherium. Boy, that's got some wild looking colors on it. It's actually got stripes. For, oh, it's a horror megatherium. Wow, I didn't even know we had those on this map. I know we had R equuses. I didn't know we had R megatheriums. But right there was one. I have already tamed a bunch of megatheriums and actually have been breeding them. And the Redwood Forest has got a load in here, so we're fixing to get a lot of choppiness on their video. Arc is still not fixed that this Easter update has not helped the not helped the lag at all. At least I can't tell if it has. And since I've done the dino wipe, there's probably gonna be more thylos over here in the Redwood Forest that I have to look out for now that it was gone before. And there's a dire bear fighting a bunch of monkeys. And that also reminds me of something else. There's probably some new dino spawned in my courtyard over here. That could make a disaster. I hope not. I had everything pretty much cleaned up to where it was just a few monkeys and some megaloceruses over here at my base. But since I've done the dino wipe, that is going to change. So there may be a bunch of dangerous dinos over here now. I don't think it'll hurt none of my animals because I've got a bunch of super rexes in there that will destroy anything. But I'll have to rearrange everything if there's been something in there. First thing we need to do when we get to base is check all our feeding troughs, make sure they ain't completely empty. And a stupid Diplodocus is spawned in here. Okay, we gotta get rid of that thing right off the bat. Put everybody on passive and kill this guy. I don't care what level you are. It'll probably be a 150 since I have to kill it. Come on, don't get over no my other dinos. We can't have that. I guarantee it's a 150. Look at that, 150 Diplodocus. Wouldn't you know it? What else is in here? Can't believe it. There's a 150 Diplodocus in my pen. I had to kill it. That's the way things work. I'm gonna get my other wyvern to clean up the corpse because my lightning wyvern is plumb full of chibis and can't hold no meat, and I'm gonna need meat. This is my good ice wyvern that I've been riding, so it should have plenty of room to hold a Diplodocus. There's probably some more dangerous dinos in here too, I just don't know yet. Diplodocus isn't dangerous, but it would knock all my dinos around and I've got them arranged so I can breed them and stuff. That would be a pain in the butt. I'm going to take this meat because I'm probably going to have to put it in the feeding trough. Okay, Wyvern, let's put you up on top. We're going to have to empty out all these chibis out of our inventory somehow. And I really should have brought an ascended dino candy for my other Wyvern. Never even thought of that. Thinking of it now. Come on, Lightning Wyvern, land for me. I hope the game is locked up on us. Let's not freeze here at the base. And we got another level up for our Lightning Wyvern, so we're going to continue on the health until we get it up to 10k. Then we're going to get down here and check these feeding troughs, make sure they've got meat in them. 
sure the other one over here is empty because all my T-Rexes and stuff eat out of this one over here. Okay, I could put all this prime in here and they'll eat through it first. It is definitely empty. Yep, they're chugging through that prime meat fast. The reason this one empties out so quick is when I put my baby dinos down here. This is the trough they usually eat out of. I'm going to let them finish off that prime meat before I put the rest of that in there. Because if I don't, they won't eat the prime. They'll eat the other meat first. I'm going to put some hide in this. I'm going to dump that. I'm going to put all these chibis in this chest over here, even though this is not what this chest is for. I actually have an extra one here, don't I? So that'll be good. There's 82 that I had in my inventory. I'm sure my wyvern has got a lot more than that. Let's go check this feeding trough again, and I'm going to try to empty out that lightning wyvern. Then we might get out and fly around. I... Nope, they're not eating the prime meat, are they? Let's go check the other trough then. where I've been breeding my thylas at. I've got some pretty good ones here. I'm up to a 231 on my thyla breeding. The guys aren't loading in for me. You need to load in so we can see what you look like. They're not all that cool looking or nothing anyway though. Okay, this trough is, doesn't go down near as quick as the one up top does because I usually don't move dinos over here until they get fully grown. Here's some of my super wrecks. Over here's the end of the line, the 725s. We've got all the way down. We've got some 660s and 690s, and 640s, and 670s, and 690s. There's one that's only a 369. Because basically the first one I found was only a 365. And then I found that 485, and we got the 725s from that. But we've about got a Rex army done. But we really need good saddles for them. We don't have good saddles. So we've been going down to that desert temple down there, the labyrinth in the desert, to get saddles and stuff. And we still haven't really found a good T-Rex saddle. And only found one, one Uteranus saddle. And it was not that great a one either. And it wasn't a blueprint. It was just a single saddle. I like the cinema crops. It's basically like having an elevator up and down without having to ride your wyverns. You guys eat that prime meat yet? You still have not eaten the prime meat. Guess I'm going to go ahead and stick some more in there then. The prime meat will just go to waste because they won't eat it now. Okay, let's see if we can clean this wyvern out and we'll go do some other stuff if we've got time. The day may be getting a little bit short on us. See how many chibis I actually have here. I'm slot cap, so I'm sure I've got more than this chest can hold. Okay, did they all actually fit in there? Looks like they did. I've got 344 chibis. So I've like five chibis filling up this chest. And we've got ten times that much down there at the at the dodo bunny pen, so that's gonna be crazy if I actually crack all those eggs. Okay, what time is it during the day here? It is seventeen hundred hours. I wanna dump off a few more little items here and I think we're gonna take the wyvern and go circle around the 
maybe we can pasture some more and see if we can find any colorful dinos and then we'll probably end the day off. Tomorrow we may get out and look, go to both of the wyvern trenches and see if they see new wyverns spawned. But we don't really have time to do that today. I'm going to throw a couple items in storage here. We've got another long neck. We have a box for long necks over here. Here's our long neck collection. It really isn't that good. We did, however, we went down and made a bunch of trips to that temple thing in the desert, and we did get a, a Cindy Long Neck Rifle with 216 damage, which we are using right now. So that was a great get out of That's probably the best thing I've got out of that temple down there so far, was that ascended Long Neck Rifle. So we do have one really good one. Okay, what are we going to take out? We're going to take out, let's take out our Ice Wyvern. We'll run back over by the dodo pin and grab an ascended dino candy for him. We're going to take our ice wyvern. We're used to using him a lot more than we are the lightning one and we're going to circle around the maywing pasture some more. Well there's a lot of pteranodons around. All them spawned in you. That dino wipe basically got rid of every creature I had on the map before the Easter event so everything's new once again. Actually, it's pretty cool to know that I've got a bunch of new dinos to look for now. Might actually find some super high level event colored creatures now. I'm going to grab another purple supply drop, even though they're not going to be nothing good in it. I'm eventually going to get over doing this. Chasing purple drops. Occasionally get an apprentice saddle blueprint or something. It's about the best stuff I ever get out of these. And I got a heavy ramshackle shield out of that one. Let's go, Ice Wyvern. You don't look cool yet, but I'm going to get you an ascended dino candy, and your colors are going to change quite a bit. What is that? Oh, that's Gallimimus. Oh, there's a Super Rex. About guarantee it. I see a Rex, and it's down here in the wrong place, so that means it's probably going to be a Super Rex. Oh, it's not. It's only a level 20. I was kind of thinking the only Rexes that spawn down here would be the Super Rexes, but this one is not a Super Rex. It's just a low level 20. It goes by my eyes breath. Well, dang. Thought for sure I had found another one. Let's go get a Dino Candy. So I can check the level of this Parasitherium out. We have actually tamed a Parasitherium now. There was a Parasitherium stomping around in my courtyard, and I finally tamed it. So we're kind of on the lookout for a mate for it now. I seen a tail sticking out over here behind a rock. I'm going to go look real quick. Must have just been a stegosaur. Yep, I actually thought I had found another Super Rex when I seen that T-Rex stomping around in the Maywing pasture over there. There's some really brightly colored Allosaurs. And there's a supply drop that I cannot get. Let's see what level these Allosaurs are. 85 and the really colorful one is probably a 60, 50, 60, and the 85. The colorful one must be the 85 and the other one must be the 60 because it's got the flame on it. Flame's going to be the higher one. Wow, look at that horse. There's your colorful horse right there. That's got the Easter colors for sure. Level 95 E R Equus. It's one of them R Equuses. Let's go 
go get you a dino candy, I Swivern. I still have not named the Swivern. I've been flying on him for a long time. We are definitely not going to pick up any more eggs when we land over here, even though that pen is going to be plumb full of them. Actually, it is not plumb full of them, but we're still not going to pick up any. Oh, picked up the wrong thing. I picked up 400 pounds of regular eggs. We can't carry those. Let's get one dino candy is all we want. We want to turn our wyvern all brightly colored here. And make him fly 15% faster. Okay, you just turned bright red, didn't you? That looks pretty cool, but you ain't got... Hoping for some different colors, but you're just solid red, aren't you? Yep, you're solid bright red. You've got the racing red color on now. now. I guess we'll get some real lag on this game now when we start flying around with this. It's already lagging plum out. This game cannot handle a 15% movement speed on a wyvern. Just cannot take that. There's another Rex. Come on. Oh, that is a no, oh, that is an Alpha Rex. That's the first one of those I have seen. Can we take out an Alpha Rex? I'm not sure if we can. I'm going to pass on that right now. Maybe the next day or two we'll take on an Alpha T-Rex. Actually, what we should do is get a couple of our Super Rexes together and bring them over here. And I'll bet they can take out an Alpha Rex. And there's another Rex. Boy, we may get lucky and find another Super Rex. This one's purple and green. If my wyvern will land, I'll see what level it is. Level 20. Purple, green, and gold. It's a shame that the level on it's bad. Why can not I find a level 500 super rigs things like this? Freaky colors. What I need to do is get back down to the desert temple and find a good T-Rex saddle and then bring my bring a male and female Super Rex over here and battle that Alpha T-Rex. That would be a good episode. I think my Super Rexes could actually take it. I'm going to grab a purple supply drop and we're probably just going to end this video off because it is almost dark here on this, on this day on Ark. The day is about over. I think maybe tomorrow morning we may just head back down to the Desert Temple and do a quick run of it and see if we can get a good T-Rex saddle boat print. There is an Apprentice Caprasuchus saddle. Yeah, I think I'm going to end it off here. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And thanks again for watching. This is Ty Creek Rock on the Lost Island map with a colorful Easter dinos signing out.